I grew up in a world where there are only a few news outlets. This has all changed because we're in a world of social media where there are thousands of people telling you what's real and what's wrong, what's the news. We have an instinctive human reaction to what we're seeing. Nothing spreads misinformation more than fear. And fear absolutely thrives on uncertainty. This is fake. This never happened. Although it's covered in BBC graphics and BBC font, we never put this out. And it's hugely contentious, which makes it incredibly harmful, not only to the BBC's reputation, but to anybody's understanding of the situation. Unfortunately, the state of trust in news is very low at the moment, with a significant amount of audiences consistently reporting that they don't trust news or the media. Content credentials are part of a technology initiative that help people online verify whether or not the images and media that they're seeing online are authentic. It uses a technical standard to encode information about the provenance of images, audio and video. Information or signals that show where a piece of media has come from and how it's been edited. This is then securely attached to the media Similar to an audit trail or a history, these signals are called content credentials. Anyone seeing the piece of media can view its content credentials and verify for themselves whether or not they want to trust it. This is content credentials. It's live on a BBC News article about an airstrike in Damascus. Now, if you look at this video, we are telling people how we know what we know. So for example, we're saying we first saw it on Telegram, we've made some edits, such as including the BBC Verify logo. And this details over here how the landmarks you can see in the video lead us to pinpoint the location on a map. And this is entirely being done to build trust between us and the audience. So they know when they come to us, we will tell them exactly what we know. We're already working with Adobe, Sony, Microsoft, CPC Radio Canada and many other organizations to create this shift. Imagine a world in which you can reliably turn to content credentials to help you understand the context of what you're seeing and hearing online so you can decide if you trust it.